In the heart of the Philippines lies the small town of Bakung, known for its serene landscapes and rich history. But among its tales of peace, one story stands out. The legend of Leon Kilat. Leon Kilat, born Pantaleon Villegas in 1873 in Bakung, Negros Oriental was a prominent figure in the Philippine Revolution against Spanish colonial rule. His early life was marked by witnessing the injustices and oppression inflicted upon his fellow countrymen by the Spanish authorities. Leon Quilat was the military leader who started the revolution Tres de Abril Revolt, April 3, 1898, in Cebu. He also led revolutionary groups in Panay and Negros Islands against the Spaniards. Leon Quilat was very popular for his valor and lightning speed, thus the name Quilat amongst his fellow Cebuanos. He was also known for his amulets, which gave his fellow Catipuneros courage in fighting the Spaniards. Villegas was born in Bacon, Negros Oriental, on July 27, 1873. His parents were Policarpio Villegas, a farmer, and Ursula Solde, a cinema weaver. His grandfather was Pedro Villegas, a native of Spain. Due to poverty, Villegas did not receive formal education. He was taught how to read, write, and recite prayers by the Spanish priest in Tolong, whom he worked for as a servant. He had the opportunity to go to Manila when the Spanish priest took him along the trip to the city. However, he ran away due to the mistreatments he received from the priest. How he survived in Manila remains unknown. He tried to return home but found himself in Cebu, engaged in different jobs. In 1895, he worked for the port town of Cebu and later became an Obaca press laborer for McLeod & Co. Villegas also worked for a well-known drugstore owned by a German named Kraffenbauer. The drugstore, Botica Antigua, was located in the corner of Calle del Palacio. After working at the drugstore, Villegas transferred to Pascuala Carla's bakery in Pajina. He was also a, a jockey horse trainer for Federico Lang and later in the branch office of the Singer Sewing Machine Co. He later joined a circus in 1896 owned by Tagalogs and among them was a Catipunero. It was there that he was recruited into the secret council of the Kataastaasan Kagalangalangan Katipunan ng Mga Wagas na Anak ng Bayan KKK. It was possible that he was also brought to centers of the revolutionary movement in Luzon, such as Cavite, Malabon, Calamba, Pasig, and Malolos. Villegas was known for his audacity his loyalty to his comrades and his firm stand on issues. Villegas assumed command of the Katipunan in Cebu. He ordered every Katipuneros to arm themselves with any bolded weapons they can produce and addressed him as Leon Quilat. The Katipunan was growing fast. While Leon Quilat was in Cebu, many young men were drawn to the organization. He helped organize resistance in the Visayas area of the Philippines at that time, specifically in Cebu. He led revolts and fights against Spanish troops in 1898. Quilat's leadership and strategic acumen quickly earned him recognition among his peers. He became known for his swift and decisive actions on the battlefield, which led to his nickname, Quilat, meaning lightning, in English. This moniker captured his ability to mobilize forces rapidly and outmaneuver the Spanish troops. Meanwhile, the use of Leon in his nickname likely symbolizes strength, courage, and bravery, characteristics commonly associated with lions. Despite his military successes, Quilat faced numerous challenges including internal divisions within the revolutionary ranks and the threat of betrayal. Tragically, his life was cut short in 1898 when he was assassinated by a close associate, 
allegedly due to personal grievances or political disagreements. Kilat did not suspect anything because he was even accorded a courtesy due for a visiting. Dignitary, when arrived in the evening of Holy Thursday, he first went to the house of Capitan Paras and then later transferred to the house of Capitan Tioi Barsanila. After eating dinner, Leon Kilat went to his assigned room to sleep. The son of the owner, Vicente Barsanilla, woke up after a few hours when he heard loud voices coming from Kilat's room. Vicente found the maid Kitai and both went inside Kilat's room from where loud noises came. There he saw the limp body of Kilat being pinned down by eight men, with some of them taking turns at stabbing it. The skull had been earlier smashed with, with the butt of Kilat's own gun. Then they took his body down the stairs till Kui told the other conspirators, Stop, put it down, let's see if he is invulnerable. Each one took turns at stabbing the dead body and breaking some of his limbs. Then they carried Leon Kilat's body to the center of the town where it was displayed for all residents to see. Kilat's untimely death was a significant loss for the revolutionary cause, but his legacy continued to inspire future generations of Filipinos. In Barkong, Kilat is remembered as a fearless freedom fighter who dedicated his life to the pursuit of independence. Monuments, street names and historical markers across the municipality pay tribute to his courage and sacrifice. Kilat's contributions to the Philippine Revolution remain an integral part of the nation's history, serving as a reminder of the enduring spirit of resistance against oppression and tyranny. Today, the spirit of Leon Kilat continues to inspire generations of Filipinos to stand up against oppression and injustice, reminding us that the struggle for freedom is never in vain. And so, the legacy of Leon Kilat lives on, a testament to the power of courage, resilience, and the unwavering spirit of the Filipino people. Amidst the colonial rule of the Spanish Empire, a man emerged from the shadows to become a symbol of resistance and a beacon of hope for his people. This is the story of Pantaleon Leon Quilat, Villegas of Bacong.